morning, YouTubers. How's it going? So this is my uh, uh, daily drive in as usual, 70 miles into London. And I'm um, just sitting in my rangey, which is only three years old, and it is now done 90,000 miles. Horrendous, horrendous. Um, I am seriously considering chopping it in soon to get a Tesla because it's not it ain't the miles it's the amount of fuel these monsters consume because uh, you know these cars are heavy motors big ranges and um, I do I don't drive it carefully I drive it quite hard so it, it, you know on average I guess I'm doing 30 quid of diesel a day well it's a waste isn't it a waste of money you know if this was a Tesla could literally plug it in a fully charged Tesla is 250 miles of uh, charge that costs I've been told by Tesla five pounds so that goes on your energy bill at home five pounds will get you 250 miles of charge in a Tesla so it makes sense doesn't it so the money I put in for fuel would basically buy you a Tesla on contract hire why would anyone want to drive long distances in a petrol car when a Tesla covers all the expenses on the on the, on, the, on the funding the car to start off with why would you do that so I think I'm gonna be looking at a model X is it the X with the gold wing doors I have test driven one and I've test driven the model s um, so I'm gonna have a good old think about that I know the I, I was approached by Tesla about a month ago and the Tesla Model X P100D, so that's the top of the range performance model. They were a hundred and forty thousand pounds, right? But with their discount, because the governments give you heavy discounts and and and. and uh, they help towards the purchase and Tesla's discounts that comes down to a hundred and obviously if that's over if that's on contracts higher it works out to be I think just over a grand a month so that's almost that's obviously no road tax no congestion charge very 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 cheap energy costs like five pounds maybe every two days to charge it if i'm doing 70 miles uh up to london 70 miles back so that's that's maybe two trips for five quid that's very cheap isn't it so uh yeah so this rangey can go uh, as I said, it's three years old, 90,000 miles, cost me a fortune, autobiography. Now, you know, with these miles, it's, it's going to be difficult. Well, it's not going to be difficult to sell, but someone's going to want it for next to nothing. And it's still, you know, it's immaculate inside. The leather's perfect. It's all leather dashboard. It's autobiography. It's got suede head lining. Um, but I'm just fed up of putting, throwing money away for, for fuel. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm literally two minutes away from the office. Um, weekend, obviously it's a short week. We've got bank holiday uh, in England. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So if any of you guys out there are thinking about home renovations this weekend because if you're a homeowner what tends to happen in 
in bank holiday weekends is everyone gets in the garden and they get their pots and pots of paint out and they start decorating and they they may be thinking about renovating and doing some spring cleaning well if you need any design or construction advice give us a call 020-7731-6841 or email me info at nuprojects.co I will be more than happy to let one of my team speak to you on the phone to give you some free advice maybe you want some advice where to buy some lovely wallpaper or paints or something a special bit of furniture you want made we can help with that our designers can do that for you um, but yeah give me a call um, I'm heading on to the office so I'm um, you know I'm I'm available um, to chat with you I'm just gonna get my key out of my thing because it's got a, my my buzzer to get in the gates at work so yeah um, bank holiday weekend coming up so everyone have a lovely time hopefully the sun is out today and it's already 14 celsius so i've got my summer little clothes on so i'm i'm looking pretty sharp today got a couple of meetings uh these meetings today are with new architects we want to do some collaboration with so basically i have got a new member of staff and it's basically cold calling architects and businesses pitching our services to them so basically architectural services um, we have get we get a load of uh, opportunities in and we need uh, some more architects because our team are almost at capacity so we're looking for like-minded uh, architects and interior designers who want to collaborate with new now we give them leads but on the upside they must give us leads we want to go on their tender list so that means if they are working on a project and uh, maybe it's a basement refurb in Fulham, they need a contractor, they put us on their tender list. We want to make sure we are high up on their tender list. So um, if they're working on any, any future projects, we give them an opportunity, but they have to give us an opportunity back. So um, that's what we've been doing. We must have spoken to 20, 30 architects over the last seven days. We've met 10, 20 architects um, and um, we've got some really good contacts. So it's all about networking. It's all about building a network, getting our name out there, uh, saying, hi, here we are. This is what we do. You know, we want to work with like minded people if because the question I asked everyone, how was 2018 for you? And do you know what? Everyone is saying it wasn't great. So this is good because everyone is working together to collaborate to make their 2019 the best yet. And that is the what's happening with us. I've really 10 x everything, all my marketing, all my branding, all my PR, full steam ahead every platform every way possible to get the phones ringing and um, I'm really throwing everything at it old, old techniques brand new techniques techniques I haven't used for years it's happening it's happening you know so we are generating more leads than probably any construction company in London and that's what I intend to do because if someone wants a construction company we need to be one of their chosen contractors. They need to think of new projects. So if you out there watching this are a architect, interior designer, or you want to collaborate with new, because you get deal flow, 
You want me to give you jobs, I want you to give me jobs, okay? It's a two-way negotiation. Um, I think this week so far we have, we've had five projects come in. So um, basically that's West London. And I'm viewing about four more next week. So I'm going into the office now. Have a great day and uh, let's do another car blog uh, sometime next week. But um, see ya.